To make everyone happy, I decided to use um, a special set, which is not the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor set, and which is not the LEGO Spike Prime set. Rather, I took the LEGO Spike Prime set, added the parts of the expansion set, and I made an intersection with the Robot Inventor set, which produced a kit which is a very small, so everyone will be able to build these robots if they have the Robot Inventor set or the expanded Spike Prime set. Hugbot shares its working mechanism with many other working robots you can find on YouTube, such as Atlab Working Robot or the amazing biped robots by Stu Nichols. I improved the design by making the feet more robust so they cannot come off even if you try to pull them hard. Also, I tried to make the feet as small as possible yet keeping the robot stable. Hugbot is quite tall and slim with respect to other biped robots. Its center of mass is quite high. Remember, higher the center of mass and harder it is for the robot to keep its balance while walking. This kind of biped walker is statically balanced. This means the robot has no sensor and the control software doesn't balance it dynamically. Here, static balancing means keeping the projection of the center of mass within the area of the feet. <coughs> The center of mass is the point representing the mean position of the weight in a body. The tricky part is when a foot is lifted because the support area is reduced, limited to one foot only. So the robot has to lean to one side to shift its weight onto the foot that is touching the ground. That way the projection of the center of mass is moving within the area of the supporting foot. This seems hard to achieve, but actually it's pretty simple. Everything's done mechanically by a crank. Cranks like these transform rotation into an alternating motion, back and forth, up and down, left and right. When you finally achieve your LEGO robot, working straight and balancing smoothly, you might consider yourself done. But actually, you're not. How about turning? Well, with such a restrained mechanism, you have to devise a very particular maneuver. A robot walks and turns. How about giving our walking robot the ability to grab and lift objects, clap, cheer, and even hug? I got the idea of the grabbing mechanism from here, although the idea is not completely new. I went through many design iterations and I had to tinker a lot to get the current shape and functionality. The arm gets close and rotate up thanks to a single underactuating mechanism. Underactuation is when a single motor actuates more than one degree of freedom there is one degree of freedom for each rotating joint. So in this case, the movement of the motor prefers closing the arms first, which is a lighter task, then lifting them up. Once the arm cannot close farther, they start moving up. And once I had the grabbing and lifting action, I realized that I could make the robot hug too. I love how things come out on their own when I'm there tinkering while I'm playing, because as my old mustached friend Albert E said once, maybe, uh, play is the highest form of research, something like that.
If you like robots, especially walking biped robots, make sure you don't miss the transformer. That robot is another level, it can transform into a driving car. You can find it in my book, the Lego Mindstorms Robot Inventor Activity Book, published by No Start Press. In there, you'll find detailed building and programming instructions to create many fun projects. So let's recap what you learned. First, to keep a walking robot balanced statically, you always need to keep the projection of the center of mass within the supporting area of the feet, or the foot, if one is lifted up. Two, a crank is a mechanism that transforms a rotation into an up and down, back and forth motion. Three, you have an under-actuating mechanism when a motor makes your robot perform more than one movement. For example, here is grabbing and lifting, or hugging and clapping. You can get the complete building and programming instruction from our website, as usual. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and please consider supporting my channel by purchasing your LEGO using the Amazon affiliate links down below. That will help my channel grow and make Bugbot really happy. Stay young, keep playing. Ciao. Someone might be able to... Get out!